JBL Flip 5. It's got another firmware update, you've asked me. Can you tell us what's happened to the Flip 5? Has anything changed? So that's exactly what I've done. We're gonna have a look at the changes between firmware. 0.30, which is what I was on, and the new firmware, 0.5.6. I do have two JBL Flip 5s, so I'm gonna test them both in a different way. The first thing to say is, I'm pretty used to JBL saying, we fixed some bugs. They never seem to tell you what they have changed. Sometimes it changed the sound or it didn't. Sometimes your speaker never worked again. This time they're actually telling us, improves the stability of stereo setup using the JBL Connect app. Well, the app has always been a bit of a nightmare. So any improvement in the use uh, with stereo would be great. Now, it does say the stability of stereo set up using JBL, but of course, there's no other way of doing stereo. You can do party mode without ever touching that app, which is fantastic. Don't have to touch the app, but since the JBL Charge 3, where you could actually set them up before the firmware update, without the app as a stereo pair, and they remembered there was a stereo pair, and they came back on. And all these years later, <laughs> they can't get back to that. All these Chinese knockoffs doing stereo, true wider stereo pairing as a breeze, JBL, with all the might behind them, can't get it right. And now they're saying, they've improved it after how long? Okay, well, that'll be good. And they say, improves the compatibility with iMac devices. Well, I don't use iMac devices, so I can't tell you if that's happened or not. All I'm really gonna tell you is, has it changed the sound? It's been a while, actually, since one of their, uh, since I tested a JBL firmware, where it actually, you know, really, obviously, uh, was detrimental to the sound. Um, maybe it's this time. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my, by the way, these are both TL versions. I'm aware of the CS version and the GG version, and maybe there's other versions. They sound different. The firmware update may affect them differently. So as far as my TL versions, Flip 5 goes. Recorded it at maximum volume before updating it. I updated it and then I recorded it again at maximum volume. And now I'm going to play you before and after, and you can see if you can spot any difference. Before firmware update, after firmware update, before, after, before, after, to all intents and purposes, you can declare them the same. So looking like, far as altering the sound in any way, no change. So it would appear, at the moment, my grey one has been left unscathed. Uh, whether it's actually improved stereo stability or not, I have to tell you, uh, when I tried it, after updating both of them actually, uh, it doesn't... <laughs> You still got to go through a series of steps, and if you don't go those, get those steps right, it don't work. For instance, fire up the app before you turn on one of your speakers. For best practice, only have one of those speakers paired to your phone or whatever device. Start up the paired device after you've opened up the JBL Connect app. Wait for it to be recognized. Wait for the power bar to go green, then turn on your power boost button. Then, when you hit the see the, the party when you hit see the party stereo screen, then start up your second speaker. Then hit the party boost button on the second speaker, and then it seems to work. If you don't do those steps, for me personally, it don't work, and that wasn't any different before, and it's no different after. However, as far as my red teal version Flip Five goes, this time I did it a bit different. I measured the frequency response uh, around sort of sweet spot, sort of listening volume 73% and also at maximum volume. And what I found was my red JBL Flip 5, 73% volume, old firmware, new firmware, it's the same. Maximum volume, old firmware, new firmware. To all intents and purposes, it is exactly the same. In fact, if I went to a 5 dB scale, you can see. It's exactly the same. So no change by frequency response. 
just out of interest. You will notice maximum volume, 73%, just how mid and high heavy it is when it goes to maximum volume. The 90 hertz mark doesn't even change between 73% and a maximum of volume. So pretty much both my speakers have been left working. There didn't seem to be any difference, any, you know, outside of margin of error, there didn't seem to be any difference in the sound before or after, no matter which way I tried to test it. And therefore I'm declaring the JBL Flip 5 firmware up update 0 0.3, 0 0.3.0 0 .3 to 0.5.6 as safe to use on your Flip 5 TL version. I hope you got something out of my video and I thank you for watching.